Hey, howdy, folks. It's Edge of Weebus Jesus here. I don't know about you folks, but I absolutely loathe entitled people, and luckily, the commentary community has helped me find one. Shout out to the homie Sensitive Society. I say that like I know the guy, but because of him, I found another person to complain about. There's this cunt that's thrived on drama. At first, it was bullying people with cancer, then it was bullying a depressed girl, and now she's gotten to the point where she's just acting like a goddamn fool. For example, in this video, she says some awful shit about autistic people. I'd like to preface this by saying that I don't want to be perceived as a good person, Person from this video, I just want to complain about something. I'll let the video play out and then I'll give my thoughts on this brain dead e thought. People with autistic are fucking worthless. Autism, autism is not real. I think people with autism are just pretending to have autism because they're fucking lazy and worthless. They they should all be gassed and put in concentration camp. Yes, I think we need genetic cleansing. The doctors need to hurry the fuck up with this genetic cleansing thing. Shut up, because like I'm tired of seeing autistic fucks around my world. R retarded people should just be like taken somewhere else. I don't want them here. If you're autistic, then literally, I'm sorry, but I like like you're worthless. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this thing apart piece by piece. Before I even start, though, you can't claim that this is a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha funny moment compilation. I'm one for ironic discrimination. For example, if I say we should kill all the wetbacks and shoot the spicks, I think that's pretty funny since I'm half Mexican and I love my dad. Of course, unironic discrimination isn't cool, obviously. But something that you'd see on r slash OKVR is wacky enough to the point that I laugh. The problem with this hoe is that she isn't really framing this as a joke, she's saying this like she means it. So I'm just gonna go on the assumption that she means it. People with autistic are fucking worthless. So, how are you gonna judge people with autism when you can't even string a sentence together? People with autistic. Ah uh, yes, I uh, personally am uh, more of a people with paraplegic kind of guy myself, but I like to think that everyone is entitled to their own tastes. That was such a brain-dead sentence that I feel even dumber for having heard that. Hell, you managed to lower the IQ of the dumbest man alive and you think you have room to judge people. Autism. Autism is not real. I think people with autism are just pretending to have autism because they're fucking lazy and worthless. Well, who seems to disagree with you saying that autism isn't real? But if autistic people are so lazy and worthless, what do you do all day? Because, Chilindrina looking ass, I don't know about you, but I don't think that bullying people with cancer and unironically telling them to kill themselves is paying your bills. You aren't idubs or funny, so I doubt that your entitled ass is doing any work. They, they should all be gassed and put in concentration camp. Oh dude, fuck yeah, who doesn't like some good old fashioned denial of human rights? You know how almost everyone can disagree that Hitler was bad for doing what he did with the Jews, that thing? Yeah, let's do it to autistic people and once again be on the wrong side of history. I sure do hope that the United Nations or any individual government doesn't step in. Yes, I think we need genetic cleansing. The doctors need to hurry the fuck up with this genetic cleansing thing. Shut up, because like I'm tired of seeing autistic fucks around my world. R retarded people should just be like taken somewhere else. I don't want them here. If you're autistic, then... Literally, I'm sorry, but I, like, like, you're worthless. I don't know about you, but I also agree that the world needs a genetic cleansing. I say we wipe out every single human on Earth except for two men and women from each country, put them all in one continent so they can repopulate the Earth. Except I don't want to do that, I just wanted to show you what a genetic cleansing would realistically look like. And I hope to God that you're opposed to murder, because autistic people are still people. You can't just pick and choose who you want to live and die, unless you do it equally. This brings me to the sponsor of this video, Cthulhu. Hi, I'm a human, but you know what I don't like? I don't like other humans. But with this amazing new product called Cthulhu, I can summon His Excellency and wipe out all of those pesky humans, me included. So if you want your very own Cthulhu, call 331-626 today, and we'll throw in a second Mystery Lovecraftian horror character absolutely free. And you know what? I'm tempted to buy this because I am sick of humans. That's right, call 331-626 for your very own Cthulhu, and we'll throw in a second mystery Lovecraftian horror character, absolutely free. Call the next five minutes, and you may even receive a Lovecraft book. Maybe even his cat.
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe to this channel and my second channel. Go follow my Instagram, go follow my Twitters, and go join my Discord and subreddit while you're at it. And, uh, yeah, Harry Vederci, Space Cowboy. She looks like Addison Ray if Addison Ray was a heavy user of meth.